In this question, horizontally polarized light enters two polarizers, P and A, and we have to decide how the intensity of light transmitted through A varies with theta, where theta is the angle that polarizer P makes with the horizontal. Let's start by looking at what happens when theta is zero degrees. In the diagram, we are looking at the polarizers from the side. So first, light of intensity of I0 enters P. Since the light is horizontally polarized and the polarization axis of P is also horizontal, all of the light will pass through P. This means that the intensity of light emerging from P and entering A is also I0. We'll find the intensity of light emerging from A using this equation from subtopic 4.3, where I is the intensity of the light emerging from A, I0 is the intensity of the light entering A, and theta is the angle between the polarization axes of P and A. Note that theta in the formula and theta given in the diagram are not the same angles even though both of them are represented by theta. Let's substitute into this equation. So the intensity of the light entering A is I0, and the angle between the polarization axes of P and A at this position is 90 degrees, because the polarization axis of P is horizontal, while the polarization axis of A is vertical. So then we can write cosine squared 90 degrees. Since cosine 90 is 0, cosine squared 90 is also 0, and I0 times 0 is equal to 0, which means that the intensity of the light emerging from A is 0. Let's see what happens when theta is 45 degrees. The intensity of light entering P is I0. However, since the light entering P is horizontally polarized, while the axis of polarization as P is now at 45 degrees to the horizontal, the light emerging from P will have half of the intensity of the light entering P, which means that it will be one half I0. Let's substitute into the equation from the data booklet to calculate the intensity of the light emerging from A. So then we get one half I0 times and now the angle between the polarization axes of P and A will be 45 degrees. So we will get cosine squared 45 degrees. Since cosine 45 degrees is 1 over square root of 2, we get 1 half I0 times 1 over square root of 2 squared. Working further, we get 1 half I0, and 1 over square root of 2 squared is one half. One half times one half is one over four, or 0 0.25. So the intensity of the light emerging from A is 0 0.25 I0. From this, we can already deduce that the correct answer is B, but let's just see what happens when theta is 90 degrees. So here, again, the intensity of light entering P is I0. But since the light is horizontally polarized, and when theta is 90, the polarization axis of P is vertical, there will be no light emerging from P. In other words, the intensity of the light will be zero, which means that the intensity of light emerging from A will also be zero. Let's sketch the graph of intensity versus theta. We have seen that it starts from zero, goes up to 0 0.25 I zero, and then goes back down to zero, which means that it will look like this. Therefore, the answer to this question is B.